All right, so this is Casey, and he's your inspector for today. Hey, Casey, what, what did we find today? How are you doing today? Good. Um, so I just finished the inspection here, so we're just going to go over a couple things that I want to bring to your attention. Uh, I will be putting all this in a PDF formatted file with color photos to document everything, but while we're on the video here, we can go over a couple things. Um, first thing's on the roof, which we won't be going on, but uh, you have some roof valleys where the water's designed to flow off of, and uh, some of those roof valleys are obstructed with some tree debris that per that's going to prevent the water from flowing off like it should. So just go up and it's recommended to go up there and just clean it up, either blow it off, sweep it off. So it's um, really just debris that's sitting up yeah. there. Like we're just, a, just a blower the is gonna take care of it, okay. Um, also in the main electrical panel, which um, is on the side of the house and the north side of the house, there are some double tap neutral wires inside that panel. So what that means is there's gonna be a strip of screws that has a bunch of white wires going into them code says there should only be one white wire going into each screw the builder has put in more than one wire into multiple screws so it's just nothing needs to be purchased but it should be cleaned up a little bit to be code compliant so the way to clean that up is you actually there's enough holes that what you do is you take the additional wires that are kind of two to one and make them, them an one to screw. one so it's, they just somebody was being lazy yes. basically okay yes. And then also inside that panel, there's one breaker that has two wires going to it, which is not code. There should only be one wire going to each breaker. There is plenty of room inside that panel to add an additional breaker to eliminate that. Okay, so if you want to get that better, you just Correct. add. Okay. Correct. You cut it. I'm just going to say at meter only. Well, I got your going. At meter oh. only. So, oh, sorry. so we're trying to figure out, just so you know what Casey and I are doing, he's saying that he, he didn't find a turnout, turn off, but as you can see, we have a very full garage. So it's possible the turn off for the water is somewhere really logical yeah, but we just didn't it's, see it's, it. typically it's accessible where it's going to have a, a big pressure regulator and a, and a ball valve to shut it off it may be on that west wall in the garage um it's just not visible so right now i'm just saying that it's only at the meter right um but when the house is empty then perhaps there will be right in this this age of house you're yeah, saying it should be one here so it's just not readily acknowledgeable it's not but accessible. there's a lot of stuff it's here not so visible. that's yeah. fine <laughs> Uh, the only thing I know here with the water heater, it's original, it's a 2004 water heater, but uh, they should have put a catch pan with a drain pipe since it's sitting on a drywall base. I doubt anyone's going to do anything for anybody at this point in time because it's 15 years old, but when you, re when you replace the water heater, just make sure that the installer, the, uh, the, the plumber, puts a catch pan underneath that. Okay, and it's, so it's 15 years old, but it seems to be working okay. Yeah, there's no issues. It's got a recirculating pump. It's got a spanton tank. I mean, it's good to go. It's a 75-gallon um, you know, but we are at 15 years, so you know, okay. we're on borrowed time so at this we're, point. So we're at that point. No we're knocking, just... no no uh, debris or anything coming out of the fixtures. So put it on the plan, but nothing yes. nothing <laughs> needed right now. Yeah, keep your home warranty in a <laughs> We're out in the front courtyard. Okay, so the water feature did not work for me today. The outlet that... The outlet that is plugged into is dead. Oh, okay. Okay, so right now, this should be this should be working. It's plugged in, it's hardwired, it's bypassing the timer. So this, so this should all be working. So I said loose, you know, unsecured, dead outlet right here. Um, it's not a GFCI, it's not protected on any GFCI, so it, I think it might was have Was this working running. before? I see water all the way around. Yeah, right? that's what I mean. She said it was working. I asked her and she said that and it wasn't working when we pulled up. It, it hasn't worked since the whole time I've been here. Yeah, but I can definitely see that this was water. Either that or they filled it up. You know, before we got, I'm not sure. Well, no, it's sort of odd because it goes all the way around. That's like a splash. Yeah. So that really looks like it was working. I wonder if something got turned off somehow. So Right. Like so I asked her where it was, and she pointed me to this timer. And then when I opened this timer, this is what it looked like. Well, the homeowner. You know, yeah. Told me this, is where the, this is where the controls were. Okay. So, well, we can ask some questions around that. So. Yeah. Because it's got an automatic fill valve and everything for it. Yeah, I noticed that it's got the, bo the bobber in here. So apparently it should work. That's interesting. Okay. All right. Next up. <laughs> We're still outside here in the courtyard. I just noted on the courtyard wall, we got some deteriorated chip stucco top coat. Which okay. Yeah. Kind of normal. Okay. Uh, see here on the west side of the house over here. I think the pond fronds might have gotten blown off, but I just have damaged foam accents. Oh, the ones that are coming out here. Wall there. Some of them are broken right there. Oh, that probably was when that was a shorter tree. Okay. Yeah, or when the wind blows and probably landed on it or something. And then here on the main, this is on the north side of the house here. This outlet right here is not GFCI protected. Okay, so that's just a regular plug. Yeah. And, and this is the electrical panel where we saw the double panel panels. Here. Okay. And then I just noted a little bit of rust on the plumbing to the gas meter, which is a free call to the gas company. Which okay, I noted in so you call the gas company, they'll come spray paint it. Okay, we'll hit the back. Come on.
You're on. Okay, <laughs> rear patio here. When this fan is running here, this north fan, it's unbalanced. It shakes a lot. It wobbles. This north fan's unbalanced here. So it needs to be patio. leveled or balanced, balanced out. out. Okay. Uh, electrical here in the rear yard. We have four outlets that are on this barbecue structure. Okay. We have four outlets, two by the sink and two on each end that are not GFCI protected. All exterior outlets should be GFCI protected. Okay. So it would be ideal if those got replaced at some point with a GFCI. Or if they're all on the same circuit, put one outlet and they all might be. Oh, if they're daisy chained, then yeah. you do one at the beginning and it turns them all off. Okay. Um, this is going to be hard to see, but you're going to have a photo of it. The gas pipe that goes for this barbecue is plumbed off of the gas line to the pool heater. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So it's this yellow flexible line that's coming off of the pool heater right here. And see, it, it's direct buried. It goes underneath the earth. Yeah. So you have a direct buried flexible gas line going to the fire, uh, to the barbecue, which is not coat. So it should have been... Hard plumb, just like the rest of the stuff coming out of the ground right there. So chances are it's working just fine, but technically it should be... Yeah, that, that's a long run for... I don't know how it's connected because what's coming out of the barbecue is also flexible coming out of the ground. So what would really probably have to happen at some point is running... A probably hard a hard pipe maybe along the grass line so yeah. that you're outside and then just pop it over and get it over there have to maybe pop up a paver or two to get it under there yeah so you're not disrupting all this but at some point it was done also the gas pipe that goes to the fire pit is also flex i see flex coming out of the ground okay okay all right so those are those should have been probably done a different way yes okay okay also on this north side of the house work with me here yep walking we're taking a walk This alley right here on the north side of the house, and I said by the pool equipment, is, is dead. It's dead, okay. Yeah, so this one's dead. And then the alley that's on the outhouse here is not GFCI protected. Okay. Okay. All right, so that would be GFCI protected ideally. Correct. Uh, AC looking okay? and Yeah, every, the ACs are working good. You got two five-ton systems, so you got 10 tons of AC unit for 3,500 square feet. So you, you got your, your calculated above. You know, so you have air conditioning for about 4,500 square feet of house. Okay, well, that's always good. The original 2004 models, though. So okay. So I recommend a home warranty stay in effect. Okay. Uh, so here, to the pool equipment. It's a little difficult to see, but when the pool equipment's running, yeah. this pump right here is the pump that provide, uh, does your those, those pot water accents. Yeah. This pump leaks when it's running. So is it just a connection where it leaks? It's, it's coming from the housing. It's not from the plumbing, it's from the housing. So that's what that water buildup yes. is? Yes. Okay, so is that some, is that a call into the... It's um, a pool guy. Pool guy? And yep. they can usually correct that or is that a replacement? No, they put a gasket. They put a gasket? Yeah, they okay. put a gasket in there and, and seal it back up. They take the motor away from the pump and they put that gasket in there and tighten it all up. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Oh, and then I also noted that the, the, the gas pipe to the pool heater is a lot of rust on it. Not the yellow one we've already discussed but the actual pump, uh, plumbing going to the pool spot here, it's got a lot of rust on it. Recommend priming and painting that for free, which the gas, or the gas company won't do that, but I recommend priming and painting for that. Okay. okay. I noted in the spa, the spa light is not working. Okay, it's burnt out. It's burnt out, it's okay. Burnt out. The pool light has two, li three lights. They all work, they're GFCI protected. Spa light is not working. Okay. Okay. Um, grading to the lots and grounds. We're gonna do a little walk around here. You can see the whole layout. And by the way, I will. Here is the uh, flexible gas line coming out of the ground right here to the fire pit. Okay. Okay. And uh, I'll do an inventory of all of the all the outdoor furniture. It's been moved to protect it. So just in case you were wondering where all that went, and the big table is actually two tables, which I did not realize. So now we're in the house. What I noted in the house is I just said there's some patched areas, unfinished repairs on the west wall in the living room. Okay. The slider screen door for the uh, sliders door in the living room and in the family room are missing. The slider screens. Oh, the screens are missing. The okay. Screens. And you don't look, but they may be in the garage. You have no right. Idea. Also, I was going to mention there's eight windows around the house that are missing screens, so they okay. might be in the in the garage too. Okay. Okay. Um, master bedroom. Okay. Okay, we're going in the master bathroom. 
when the shower head's hitting against the glass walls, we have a little bit of leaking here and a little bit of leaking here, which I'll identify with circles in the picture. So that's that's uh, silicon clear silicone. Co clear silicone. Yes, okay, clear silicone silicone. caulking. Um, I also noted that I recommend getting a different faucet with a larger gallon per minute because that's how much water comes out of your, your tub your faucet and it took 22 minutes to fill it up above the jets just to be able to test it. So just putting a different... A different faucet spout that have maybe a wider diameter which allow more water flow to come okay. in. So I think by the time you fill this tub up, the water would be cold. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it wouldn't be hot. Okay, and then we're going to go to the north and the back. Okay. okay. So we're in the west bedroom. This is the Jack and Jill bedroom set. This is the west bedroom. I labeled the three bedrooms east, west, and south with the kid room, boys room being south. What I noted in here is the window. The window has broken springs on it. When you go to open it, it opens vertically. When you go to open it, it just shuts on its own. It doesn't stay up. The springs are broken on it. That makes it stay up. Oh, okay. So okay. You, you have to do the old fashioned thing of putting a block underneath yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, a piece of wood or something. <laughs> Okay. Uh, you said something about the bathroom having some damage to the wall. Yes. Behind it? Okay. This is the Jack and Jill. Yeah, this is the north bathroom I'm calling here. I just know we got some we got some uh, cracking on the wall behind the toilet, which is the north wall. You got some you know defined square right here, like maybe it was removed or patched or something at some point in time. But nonetheless, I just want you know you got some open cracking in here. Oh, okay. Um, I don't see any leaking. There's nothing obvious going on here. Not sure if they did anything on the north side of the house that would have caused this, but it's, you know, it's just like a drywall pass. It just needs to be patched at the seams. Okay. Okay. All right, back north pass here. Go ahead. Okay. I also just said that we have uh, the faucet diverter. When you go from shower to tub, a lot of water still stays coming out of the tub spouts, which takes away the pressure from the shower. Uh, so it's usually build up in there and then you just probably yeah, clean up the build up. Okay. All right, so we're in the south bathroom, which is the Star Wars boys bathroom. Correct. The only thing I noted in here is the window. You can see you have that black seal between the two panes of glass that's sagging into your line of sight here. Okay. And that just technically means it's a defective window. The seal's been breached, and so heat has allowed that space for the sag. The only way to fix it is to replace it with another sealed cartridge. Um, pretty common with this brand of windows in this period of time out here in the desert. They made a ton of them, uh, but that's the only window that you have is, that's bad right now. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay, okay, so the last thing we have is just in the kitchen. Underneath the kitchen sink, there's some slight leaking from the drain pipe. The kitchen cabinet's really, really full. There's a bunch of people in there cooking and eating, so I didn't really empty the cabinet to see the extent of it, but I know that there is some uh, standing water under there from that's leaking on the drain pipe. Okay, so the drain pipe needs to be just tightened re, re, up. Re, yeah, rebuilt, okay. even if it needs new pressure rings or something, but just rebuilt. Okay, so nothing huge, but nope. just needs to be taken. I just don't want to go in there right now and make them panic. So overall there. feeling in the house? I think I like it. They don't want it, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> but I just, I recommend the home warranty. We got 2004 heaters, 2004 air conditioners, 2004 water heaters. So. If nothing happens in this first year, I just recommend renewing the home warranty as many years as possible because of the age of everything and okay. the cost to replace them. Thanks, Casey. Appreciate it. All right.